Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Back in the video, and today I'm gonna be talking about why the Brooklyn Nets could potentially be the next super team. Now, before I get into this video, I want to preface this video saying that this is actually a series I do that's been running on my channel for about two, maybe three years now, where I go over every single team in the league, say they're the biggest strengths of each team, and why they could potentially be the next super team. So, am I saying that I think the Nets are gonna be the best team in the league next year? No, but I mean, I, that actually, this video kind of makes sense to make for the Nets because they actually do have Kevin Durant and Kyrie, obviously, plus like some other key players I'll be getting to all in this video but yeah basically I make this type of video for every single team so if you don't agree with me or you think that I'm wrong well just know that I make this team for I make this type of video for every team including like the New York Knicks and teams like that so yeah I just wanted to get that out of the way so without further ado without rubbing on too much let's get right into this video all right, so one more thing before I actually do get in the video. Um, this is going to be pretty much a two-year thing, so I'm going to be going into, like, if they were healthy. Like, the whole video is based on if the team is healthy or not. So, yeah, like, Kevin Durant in this scenario is a healthy player and not injured for next year. So the reasons are kind of kind of be, like, revolved around that. But, yeah, I just wanted to get out of the, out of the ways to, like, make sure there's no confusion about this. But, all right, so now for my first reason for his video is going to be that they potentially have the best duo in the entire league. Now, what I mean by this is... Yes, obviously there's great duos in the league now, especially even new ones with James Harden, Russell Westbrook, then obviously LeBron James, Anthony Davis, but I think potentially the duo of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving could potentially top all of those duos. As when you look at it, Kyrie Irving is one of the best point guards who's probably going to be a Hall of Famer in the future for sure. He's pr debatably the best point guard and for sure the second best point guard in the league right now. He can get his teammates involved, he can take over when he has to, he can score a wheel, go to the paint will pretty much do everything he has to do and no one can stop him he's he's extremely fast plays defense takes over a team he can just do so much and he's just such a good player that obviously Kyrie by himself is good enough to probably make it any team a playoff team but then you add one of the best offensive players at this point probably of all time in Kevin Durant who's a seven foot three point shooter who does not miss can shoot him contest it just because he's so tall extremely athletic plays defense I mean with that duo I cannot see anyone at least being able to guard them as I mean just think so say you do have like someone like Ben Simmons who you might be putting on Kyrie Irving Kyrie Irving might have some struggles like trying to stop Ben Simmons and stuff and like uh, Ben Simmons would probably be a better defensive player than Kyrie Irving is offensively so Kyrie might be able to struggle right there well then you can just have Kevin Durant who literally nobody can guard him in the entire league maybe Kawhi Leonard but even him he will still get a bucket on Kawhi Leonard so I mean Kevin Durant is going to be the X factor for this team I think most people can agree with that but I think Kyrie Irving is going to also win them a few games as well this season and I think them paired together is going to be very very cool to see and I think they're going to play very good and I also another thing I don't think like because new duos off the Anthony Davis and LeBron and Russell Westbrook and James Harden they all have to re-get that chemistry together they really have to know, they learn how to play with each other to be able to be the best duo they can possibly be but with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant they have already played in what three or four finals against each other they worked out over the summer together a lot and they've always been very close as Kyrie Irving has said it's the same with Kevin Durant but I mean they know how each other play they played them in the finals three four years in a row so I mean with that already they already know their weaknesses their strengths are in and out so they've watched so much tape on each other I'm sure and scouted each other so much that they already they should chemistry should not be a problem for them as they know what to do and where to put the ball where they're good where they're not that good so they should already be a very good duo off the ground and be able to hit the ground running when Kevin Durant does come back in the future but now my second reason for the video is going to be that they have extreme and I mean extreme depth on their lineup I mean like this is probably the deepest team in the entire NBA. As obviously their starting lineup consists of Kyrie Irving, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant, Terrence Prince, and DeAndre Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan's actually debatable whether he's going to start or not. It probably depends what the beginning of the season actually looks like. But obviously that starting lineup is un obviously just unbelievable. Like I said, Kyrie Irving, top two point guard. LeVert, he came back from his injury and had a very good playoff run when he was in there. Kevin Durant, obviously, like I said, probably the best offensive player in the league right now. Prince, he's a very strong guy. He like he plays with a ton of heart, and it's just gonna be a very nice glue guy for the team. And DeAndre Jordan, a nice veteran to have, can protect the paint and get rebounds in some points when he's inside the paint. So I mean that starting lineup is a very very good one. But then you look at their bench. 
their first player off their bench is Spencer Dinwiddie, who has been one of the top bench players in the league for about two to three years now. He's probably been the six man a year contender a couple times. I don't know if he's ever won it, but I know he's been close a lot of times. And if it wasn't for Lou Williams, he would probably be the best bench player in the entire league. But then also they have a Garrett Temple, who's a solid three and D type player, and he's always nice to have. Joe Harris, a sharp shooting three pointer, who can do, he pretty much makes everything that he shoots when he's open. Like you cannot leave him open or help off of him. And he's always a, a annoying player to have to guard and then Jared Allen who in my opinion could potentially be the most underrated player in the league as I mean Jared Allen very young player very athletic a excellent rim protector I mean when I say athletic too I mean that dude can jump out of the gym dunk on you he can do so much and if he gets a jump shot I think for sure he will get over the um starting spot over DeAndre Jordan and even right now how it is I would not be surprised if they start Jared Allen over DeAndre Jordan because Jared Allen in my opinion will probably be a top 10 center in the very very near future and then also they did draft a rookie in Nicholas Claxton which is kind of confusing well I mean obviously they didn't have DeAndre Jordan at the time of the draft but did they I don't know if they did that they might have they might have not but they tra they drafted Nicholas Claxton who's a big guy out of Georgia who in my opinion is a pretty good prospect he's probably gonna be spend a little bit of time in the G League this year but I still think he's also a good player to have in your team and I mean if anyone goes down they would now have another good rookie to back up either Jared Allen or DeAndre Jordan if one of them were to get hurt but unfortunately guys that's gonna be it for his video so comment below do you agree with me do you think the Nets could potentially be the next super team what do you think the record would be next year do you think they'll make the playoffs are you our thoughts in the comment section below and if you did like the video at any point like button and subscribe button it would mean the word to me and i hope you have a blessed day can i have a blessed day so you need to have a blessed day see you in the next video goodbye boo blah, blah, blah.